Hi guys! So today we're going to do this example. We're going to expand and simplify this question. So what is the first thing that we're going to do is to expand. So we're going to multiply square root of 3 times with 2 square root of 3. We will get, okay, and then this one, right, plus with that one. Then square root of 2 times 2 square root of 3. And lastly, we have square root of 2 times square root of 2, and that will be square. Right? So we'll simplify here. We will get, since square root of 3 square get 3, then this is actually the same thing. Right? So since 1 plus 2, so we're going to get 3. Okay? 3 here can be multiplied with 2, that's why you get square root of 6. And then lastly, we have plus 2 here. Alright? Then we simplify. We will get the answer. Okay? Now, to do the next question, if you notice, this is actually the same thing. Only the sign is opposite of the other one. Alright? So that one is called the, the conjugate. This one is the conjugate. Alright, so we're going to expand 3, 3 times 3, okay, 3 square, and then 3 times negative square root of 2, alright, let me clean up that one first, okay, here 3 times with negative square root of 2, we have, alright, and then 3 times square root of 2, Lastly, we have square root of 2 times negative square root of 2. So, we'll have square root of 2 squared. So, again, to simplify, we will get 9. Since this one is actually the same, so we just cancel it. Alright? And here will become 2. So, 9 minus 2, we will get 7. Alright? So, that's it. Thank you, guys.